In today's edition of Wealth Creation Investing with Forex Joe, I'm going to be talking about Forex trading styles using a practice regiment to find stop losses using probability factors. Now this is a disclaimer. We have unique experiences. Please stop the tape if you need to understand this disclaimer and we will continue forward. As always, I always show everyone these gears when we do one of these videos and over on the left hand side you can see a 15 minute chart or a 15 minute uh, gear moving to rotate into a 30 minute. 30 minute has to rotate into a one hour up to a daily chart over to a weekly and a monthly. Now everything that I do in the Forex markets is predicated on the 24 hour chart. At the end of 24 hour period at 5 o'clock Eastern New York time I will take a look at what's happened for the previous 24 hours and I'm looking to gather or garner pips in a weekly and monthly channel using the three big lights. Some of you are different. And that's what we'd like to talk about today. We want to cover Forex trading styles. Now these are short videos so we have to be quick but not hurry as John Wooden used to say so we'll try to get this training in very quickly. In the Forex trading styles there are very uh, four trading styles that are used for the uh, most part in the Forex markets. Scalping. Scalpers are very short-term traders. They get in and out the door very quickly, sometimes within seconds. Many Forex brokers discourage this type of trading. It's also extremely dangerous due to the high number of lots required to make a decent profit off a few pips. Customers of mine have found a process to where you can stay in just a little bit longer and be successful in trading scalping style trades using a specific rule of engagement. Many people are day traders. The day traders are the type of traders that open and close their positions in the same 24 hour trading session. You won't catch these traders leading, uh, leaving any trades open as they will close those trades before they shut down their computer. We also have swing traders. That's the type of trading style that I utilize. I am a swing trader looking at a 24 hour chart and from that I go from a swing trading hold of trades for days or even weeks. Then I try to push myself into a position trader. A long term position trader is a person who holds trades for weeks to months and sometimes years at a time. These type of traders are very, very meticulous. They are very uh, experienced and they are very patient and they wait and may only trade two or three times a month. If you're looking for a risk return ratio or how much stop loss you should use if you're going to be a Forex trader, one stop loss does not fit all. Many people start off with an exact stop loss of either 20 pips or 30 pips because they are inexperienced. They've been told by people who are inexperienced in the markets that that's what they should start off at. But yet you should use a probability factor that is based on your personal risk account. Let's say for instance that in scalping you're trying to just pull off 3 to 10 pips. Well your risk return ratio for scalping should be 1 to 1. If you are an active trader and you're trying to pull off 10 to 40 pips during a session and you're always going to close your position before you get out of the markets, then you're looking for a 1.5 to 1 risk return ratio. If you are a swing trader and you're looking for 50 to 200 pips or more, your risk return ratio for swing trading should be 2 or 3 to 1 or more. And if you are a position trader looking for 250 all the way up to 1,000 pips or more, your risk return ratio should be for a position trader 3 to 5 to 1 or more. I've even caught myself getting 10 to 1 or more return as a position trader. So as you can see, the stop loss does not fit all. Well, how do I gain experience in stop losses, Forex Joe? Well, the first thing you need to put into consideration is you need to open a practice regiment demo account. You need to either trade regular lots, mini lots, or micro lots depending on the type of amount of money that you would be trading live. If you're in a practice regiment account, we encourage everyone to open a $100,000 to $1 million account, trade mini lots, and based on probability factors using the above analysis here with a specific personal risk account that you will learn how to trade and you will do two things. 
first of all, you'll find the specific trading personality that you're most comfortable with. Second of all, you will learn your risk return ratio on stop losses by practicing. All of this is based on probability factors that has worked over the decade plus that I've been in the markets. So hopefully this little tidbit that we brought to you today will be helpful and there will be more and it with us will be continued. So remember the next time you see those gears and you see that 15 minute chart down here on the left hand side just a humming know that you're going to be getting in and out of the markets quickly and if you go up to a one hour or four hour those are the type of charts that you're going to be looking at if you are a day trader but if you're a swing position trader you're going to be looking at that daily weekly and monthly chart and trying to get more pips in the process of your trades thanks for taking time to attend this forex analysis till next time godspeed my name is forex joe and i'll see you next time